The Microsoft Office clipboard is what's on my mind today. I want to tell you a little bit about that. You are probably already familiar with cut, copy, and paste. And I'm guessing you do that pretty frequently. Maybe you uh, select things and you use the buttons on the Home tab, cut, copy, and paste. Maybe you use the keystrokes like are popping up here, the control C would be another way to do that. It's Control X for cut, Control C for copy, and Control V for paste. Or maybe you do the right click method and you choose them from here. However you do that, you may not realize that you have the clipboard. I'm in Word right now and I'm going to go to the bottom corner of that little clipboard group and turn on the clipboard. You'll see I've already chosen uh, a couple of items that I've attached to my clipboard. You can have up to 24 items that you've cut or copied. And this is throughout your Microsoft Office. And you can even, even capture items from other programs. For instance, I've got uh, a Google Chrome screen open right now. And I'm just going to copy some text from there and if I do my control C to copy and then I jump back over to Word because I had this opened up in one of my Microsoft Office programs it will capture that I can get up to 24 items and the way it works then is you can click in your document or your email or your Excel or your PowerPoint wherever you're at and you can just open that up and click paste or you could just click it and it will drop it in wherever your insertion point is. You can see I've even got a little uh, graphic in there too where I can click and uh, place that in a document. And it works from program to program. So for instance, I'll go over to Excel. I didn't have the clipboard open in here. But if I click this and open it up, you'll see that it is retaining those first three items. And I could copy and copy. Notice what's happening over here when I have the clipboard activated. I'm getting a little tip each time I do it. Copy, copy, paste. Um, if you paste, of course, you're doing the last thing. That was a little boo-boo. I'm going to undo there and click this last one. If you're ever copying and you get those little marks around there, that little dancing border, just hit escape. It gets you out of it. And then let me do my last one. There's my last copy. I'm adding that in. Then you can go anywhere else that you want to use these and you can simply click them into place wherever you're working. You can take things that you've copied from the one program and paste them over here. Even if I do this whole list at once and copy it, and then I'll move back over to my Word, then I can position myself where I want that and simply paste in place. If I did a paste, it's going to pick up the last thing I did, which happens to be that. But if I click this and choose specifically what I want, I can do any of them from the list. It's a really neat feature. And there you see that last one I did. It's come in like a little miniature table. I will point out before I let you go just a few options in there. You can turn things off and on. Um, these bottom couple are the ones that are active and on by default when you are using Microsoft Office for the first time. And that's it. That's the clipboard.